Hey everybody, what's up? We are back, and this time we are soloing the destroyer without using the heart statue. I can upload a video of using that, but it's kind of dumb because I just run back and forth. And this seems like he would have more action. So let's get to the build, as we only have a limited time before we have to before night sets in. All right, so I'm using full adamant, and I am using adamant headgear which because it increases our maximum mana by 80 and it gives us increased magic damage, critical strike chance, and the set bonus 19% reduced mana usage. I'm using a warding cross necklace, a warding mana flower, and a warding philosopher stone because that provides 60, a total of 12 extra defense, much needed, and it provides more invincibility, automatic mana potions, and mana reduced mana cost. And Philosopher Stone reduces the cooldowns of healing potions, should we need to use many of them. And we have a Menacing Sorcerer Emblem and Menacing Angel Wings. We are using ma Angel Wings, so we have Maneuverability and m Menacing, because we have more damage. And Menacing Sorcerer Emblem, because it provides 19% extra damage on all magical items and 4% on everything else. For potions, we're using Swiftness Potion, because our run speed is kind of slow. Regeneration, so we get more health. Iron Skin, so we have even more defense. Magic Power, so we have more magical ability. Bowl of Soup, because it's probably the greatest thing ever, considering what it takes to make. Hunter Potion, so that we can see the Destroyer when we are on, when normally we wouldn't be able to. I'm using a Shine Potion and Night Owl Potion, so you can see better for the video. And we are using the Crystal Ball because that increases our mana and gives us more abilities. And overall makes our mana power more, more awesome. I'm using Masterful Demon Scythe, Nasty Crystal Storm, and Magic Harp. Mostly I have Light Discs if I need them and a Dao of Pow. But 37, 55, 41. 39, 57, 43. So, Clairvoyance is a very useful ability considering it's more or less free to continuously use once you pay down 10 gold. Okay, so now that we got all that out of the way, I believe it is almost night. And here we go. It is night. So I have a nice big arena so that we can do this. Well lit. Alright. And I have a fairy bell. So, let's use our buffs. The destroyer has awoken. And... Let's attempt to do this. So, we've already got the destroyer down 10,000. And, here we go. Destroyer's almost down. Let's use the harp for a while. Harp, you can kind of just stand on him and just wail. Like, look at that ridiculous amount of damage. Look at that. That is an insane amount of damage. And because, I guess, the no knockback doesn't make much difference. Demon Sight might be useful. I guess, but yeah, look at that. 67 damage, 45 damage, 50 damage. Like, that is just pretty ridiculous. And with the being invincible for extra long, we can take it like a boss. Now, I guess we also have Excalibur and the Dao of Pow, but the harp will require you to beat twins, so if you don't have that, oh well, you can just use the Crystal Storm, it seems to do pretty well. The probe head things are also fairly useful. If you're running low on health, you can just blow a few of them up. 
Other than that, they're kind of useless. Except for they make, they cause you a bit of pain. But yeah. I suppose if you're extremely good with grab potions and stuff, you can use those. I am horrendous with them. And that's why I don't use them. But look at this, we are almost done. I think I'm gonna finish him with the light disc. Oh, we still got ways to go. Get out of here, possessed armor. Oh yeah. You could also use a cobalt shield so you can stand on him. But I feel that it's nicer to just have the knockback. So that you don't get unnecessarily owned. And the destroyer is dead. Look at that. Then we can just go pick up all these nice hearts. And that was the destroyer. No heart po no health potion, heart stone things, whatever the heck they're called. Just a nice arena. And wow, 30 souls, that's nice. Apparently I had a spelunker potion on me. Dang it. Oh well. Doesn't matter. But yeah, there we go. That was it. Full adamant with the uh, thing. I suppose if you want. You could wait till you have hallowed if you don't want to take the time to spend waste all your money or use a cheat to get those items at the correct to get menacing and hurting items, but Yeah. So that was the video. Remember favorite it, like it, remember all those fun things, and subscribe to my new channel. And this will probably be the first new video uploaded. There I have two re-upload redos of older videos. But I've never actually put up a brand new video. So this is the first. I'll have a co-op version of this later. I will have and I will have a co-op solo and co-op version of the twins later on. Maybe this arena will work for them too, I don't know. Probably the same exact potions. But, we'll see you guys next time when we possibly take on another one of the bosses or in another video that I'm re uploading. And remember to watch my. and remember that my mimic video is pretty awesome. And it's pretty much the only video that I've got that's got over 2,000 views, more or less, on my old channel. So remember to rewatch it to help out my this channel so that way when people search they can see it and help it out. So remember that. Watch my videos and help my channel out a lot. And you know what I forgot to do? I even for wow, I'm good. I completely forgot to use clairvoyance. I'm well fed. But I'll see you guys next time when we take on another boss or in another or in an older video possibly detailing possibly detailing the adamant set or an older item such as the angel wings, crystal ball, something like that. But I'll see you guys then. Okay everybody, here's the deal. I'm working on Terraria 1.1 and will upload it when I can, but for now please watch these other videos and subscribe. Thanks. And see you on the great Terraria front. Aha!